Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm coming at you guys with a best Mac apps slash most useful Mac apps. Uh, I'm gonna try to make this video real quick and simple, so let's get right into it. So the first app is called Amphetamine, and for those who are aware or familiar with the app Caffeine, um, Caffeine was an app that helps you or allows you to keep your um, MacBook awake. So this is exactly what this application does. I know Caffeine hasn't been updated in a while, so people tend to use this one nowadays. This one, like I said, allows you to keep your MacBook awake. You, you can decide on the minutes, hours, or forever. I know I have this problem a lot. My MacBook tends to fall asleep very quickly. If I don't use it for a couple minutes, come back to it after re-enter my password. So this is just like a time saver. Helps you being productive. So next app is called the App Cleaner. So I know a lot of people would question why to get this app when you can simply uninstall the app um, just as a simple task on the Mac. But what this app allows you to do, which is really helpful, is it deletes every file that is related to the app that you want to download or to the program that you want to download. So usually when you uninstall an app, all it does is uninstall it. What this one allows you to do is delete every file that is related to it. The next app which I find is very useful is called Copy Clip. So for those who can read, um, as it says, it allows you to copy paste multiple things so you don't have to go back, waste some time. This helps you be very productive instead of um, going back like I just said. It puts all your copies in a certain place and you can simply go find them very easily. So the next app guys is called Hidden Me Free and as it says it hides your desktop icons. I find this very helpful and if you want to feel kind of organized from time to time, this app is for you. Um, I use it quite often because I don't know, I like, I feel more clean when there's nothing on my desktop. I like to see the nice background. So yeah, it is what it is. So finally, LibreOffice. What this is, I find is an excellent app. Uh, you download it for Mac, you can download it in French or English. Um, so I like this because it is what Microsoft Office is, except it is free. And people are actually doing some really cool things with it, with the programming, because it does allow you to code and add cool things. I haven't really touched it yet, but um, I'm into programming, so I definitely will, definitely will look into it. Next app is called Spectacular. And so I love this app because I used to have Windows computer and something that I lost when I moved to Mac was the ability to resize like exactly what this app does. So let's say you drag your window to the top. It doesn't make it full screen for you, which window does. And I really love that. It saves time and it's just, it looks better. It really it does it automatically. So it is what it is. Simple, clean, easy. I highly suggest it. This app, um, it is paid but it does really cool things so again like windows uh, when I moved to Mac I lost things so an example when you have multiple windows open usually on the Mac it shows them at the bottom screen on the dock and it shows each and one of them individually and let's say you have one open it's not on the dock anymore sometimes it's kinda hard you do get lost I get lost a lot what this does like windows is that it makes it way more accessible and easier to see not only when you have multiple screens open as it shows here but when you are playing music you can easily pause it skip it and change the volume you can also rate it and for a lot of other things one example would be when the cat when you're looking at your calendar it shows you upcoming and just yeah upcoming events so one app that seems to be blown out of the roof everyone loves this app if you guys have seen any other Mac uh, suggested app that you guys should have this is definitely gonna be there so what this does is it basically replaces spotlight I use spotlight for a long time and I never thought I would need this I haven't gotten it like I heard about it a long time ago but never got the chance to download it simply because I just didn't think it was worth it but once I got it I realized why it is so powerful it is way better and it's it just when you search something up it's way more relevant what comes up and there's a lot of things just like a simple calculator sometimes you can type in to shut down your computer simple things like that which you just don't get with spotlight so I highly suggest this app I wasn't gonna do it I never I haven't gotten it like I haven't been using it for that long but I have 
for, from what I know, it is very useful. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I tried to make it really short, clean, and simple. If you guys did, please leave a like or, or even a comment. Let me know how I did, whether it's negative or positive. I appreciate any feedback as I'm trying to get back into this YouTube thing, I'm trying to make more videos, better quality, good content. So uh, yeah, if you guys want to leave a subscription as well, I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed it and have a good night.